If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. If you're fortunate enough to have the luxury of an in-ground pool, a robotic cleaner is a worthwhile investment so you can spend more time in the pool and less time maintaining it. Once you experience the convenience of a robot, you'll never go back to manual vacuuming. I bought the Dolphin Triton to replace a failing Polaris Sport, which is an inferior design to the Triton, in my opinion, and I'll give you my reasons why. When you first turn it on, it goes through a startup sequence that goes backwards a bit, and then forward a little. And then it pauses to rev up the vacuum. And then it starts doing its thing. I imagine it's also testing to make sure that it's actually underwater and not rolling through your petunias. The control unit is the same for all Dolphin models, but you need to spend big bucks to get all the features. The Triton is the middle of the road model. It only supports the weekly timer that allows you to leave the robot in the pool and clean every one, two, or three days for a week. The disabled functions are short cycle selection, delayed start, and Bluetooth control. I chose the Triton PS because I didn't feel those additional features were worth the extra money. It's fascinating to pull up a chair and watch the Triton clean the pool. It's even more fascinating to watch it in time-lapse like this. The tracks on the Triton move at the same speed, so it does a great job of going straight. It only changes direction due to slopes and obstructions, or when it randomly decides it's time to turn. Now you'd expect that it would turn by having the tracks turn in opposite directions like a bulldozer, but that's not how it works. PowerStream robots turn using the jets on each side. It does a funky move like popping a wheelie. Then while it's off the ground, it shoots water out of the side to turn itself. It's really amazing to watch. The Triton has spinning brushes in the front and the back. And it's hard to tell in the video, but the front brush turns twice as fast as the back for extra scrubbing. Since the water is ejected out of the top, it can clean going forwards or backwards. The Polaris exhausted water out the back, so it could only vacuum going forward. The Triton also climbs walls and scrubs the water line. It will also climb steps, although it doesn't really vacuum them well. Before the Polaris, I used a creepy crawly, which always got stuck behind my steps and ladder. The Polaris used to get stuck on the steps as well, and on that ridge where the bottom begins to slope to the deep end. The Triton occasionally gets stuck on my steps, but it always gets itself clear. Only the high-end dolphins come with a caddy. I had to buy mine separately. I recommend the caddy because it keeps everything nice and neat in the shed. Plus it keeps the tracks and brushes off the ground so they don't develop flat spots. When you buy a robotic cleaner, just make sure that it can be emptied from the top. 
a lot of models empty from the bottom, and I don't understand why. They'll get scratched from turning them over. The Triton has a very large basket that can hold a lot of debris. The filters pop out of the basket for easy cleaning or replacement. The bottom of the basket is hinged for even easier cleaning without removing the filters. It comes with two sets of filters, fine and very fine, but I've only used the fine ones. They're fine. <laughs> The white plastic section on the cable is a swivel that keeps the cable from tangling. I really recommend you look for a robot that has a swivel in the cable. The Polaris didn't have it, and it used to tangle all the time. This one only tangles if you throw the entire cable in the pool. I found that it's better to extend it on the pool deck so that the robot only takes what it needs. All in all, I'm really pleased with my purchase of the Dolphin Triton robot, and I highly recommend it. I bought it on Amazon, and there's a link to it in the video description below.